Just a quick update today. I'm finally back to building Agent Zero. So these are two new features going into the testing branch this week. The first is Vision. If your model is capable of using Vision, all the Gemini models, Claude models, GPT models are capable of Vision, you can enable it in the settings, give your pictures to the model and say, for example, explain these. The agent will use the Vision tool to load information from the image into the context window and analyze it for you. It can explain it for you or do other actions. Here we can see that the first image is a YouTube channel with the subscriber count, second image, puppies, third image, Adidas ball. Pretty accurate. All the images are processed natively by the model itself. You can see that in the context window that we are sending the image data directly to the API. So now there's a lot of binary data in the context window, but uh, these do not count as individual tokens. They are counted as visual tokens inside the model. Each model handles them differently, so we are just estimating the token count based on the image size, because uh, there is no way to do this precisely. Now in the message history, you can just see a placeholder base64 encoded image data for clarity. So the workflow is you give attachments to the agent. The agent can decide whether it needs to use the vision tool or not. If it uses the vision tool, the image is first compressed to the desired size and quality to save tokens and bandwidth and is appended to the context window to the message history. And just like the rest of the message history, the information will be compressed and summarized over time to save space and ultimately discarded when it's no longer relevant. I had to make a lot of changes to the context window management system to support for these vision attachments and to handle them efficiently and save tokens. So I expect a few bucks to pop up here and there because there was quite a lot of changes here. But so far overall, this seems stable enough to go into the testing branch. The second cool feature is that the agent can now actually multitask in the terminal. Right now I tell the agent to run an infinite loop in the terminal, so it writes Python code and it does a counting loop. And I can now tell the agent in another session, run date command. So it will now abandon this terminal session. In another session number in the terminal, it will run a date command. Now I can now tell the agent output the first terminal again. And it can now take a look into the first terminal and continue in that one. So this will be handy when you need the agent to run something infinite like uh, like a server, for example. It can run a server in one terminal session and develop the code in another terminal session and switch back and forth. Also, the hacking edition of Agent Zero will probably greatly benefit from this feature as in the Kali Linux, you often need to work with multiple terminals and leave something running while you do something else. So you will not need to use multiple agents for that. You can use one agent that can switch his terminal sessions on its own. I will now push the changes into the testing branch. So by the time this video is released, you can go ahead and Docker download the Agent Zero run with testing tag, or you can wait once this is tested internally, it will be pushed into the latest or main branch on GitHub. Agent Zero is completely free and open source. For more information, you can see agent-zero.ai. You can learn more about the system find tutorials and find all the community links here.